Hi. How you doing? My name is none of your business. Let's get into the video. My name's Greg Gensko. I'm 29 years old. I've lived in Cincinnati, Ohio all my life. I'm a Zumba dance instructor, and I'm an extreme cheapskate. Me and my family, we moved into America about like a year ago, so we've been very frugal and we've been trying to save every single penny. Literally everything in my house right now is worth $3,000. Like if you take everything, total it up, $3,000. I'll do a clinical study anytime I can because those pay really good money. I really wanted to buy this low rider and I had to get $3,500 somehow. I got really lucky. The clinical study that I found online was paying the same amount. I had to put uh, ointment in my butt, but I got a car. What? <laughs> what did he have to put in his butt? And can I put it in my butt for, for a low rider too? Just look at the car. The car is just... Kill me! Hi, welcome to my condo. I got... Hey, welcome to my crib! I got pretty lucky. One of the ladies from Zumba said, Hey, my grandpa just passed away if you want to live in our condo for free. <gasps> The lucky bastard. In return, I'm supposed to mow her lawn, but you know, you can't beat free rent. Dude, he's getting free rent. It's a large three bedroom condo, so I knew I'd be able to take my roommates with me and uh, charge them rent even though I'm living for free. That's smart. You guys wanna be my roommates? <laughs> this is the kitchen. There's no point in paying for anything that you should get for free in life. Agreed. You don't know the amount of cheap sh that you can get in America. Mail packaging is so free. I just bought like 60 packages because I, you know, I sell some stuff that the stuff that I don't need, I just sell it online. And I got like 60 packages for free just on USPS. Also, I'm the type of guy that buys mail packages online. I'm, <laughs> I have, I'm, I'm very mentally stable. I would never pay for paper plates or any kind of plate really. I got lucky, I got these for my, uh, my nephew's birthday party. To say oh, that brings back trauma. Like I remember when we used to do that. We we lived in somewhere in Africa. We did we didn't have any plates or anything, so we had to like do it whatever we did we we could find. And um, uh, a friend that we had just got married, and they had a bunch of paper plates that they weren't using anymore. So we went ham on that shit. Money on cups. Um, I actually reused yogurt cups. We've done that. Ew. It tastes like shit. Like you can taste the yogurt take. You can have the yogurt taste for like weeks after. It, it's so bad. This way, they're all labeled. Everybody knows whose cup's whose. But if we get a guest, I actually give them the big cup so uh, it makes them feel special. All right, so I feel like I need to give you guys a quick disclaimer. A lot of the things that I say that my family did, we had to do them. We didn't choose to do them, if that makes sense. Um, we've been in a lot of tough situations, so yeah, we just had to improvise. We're not gross pig people, <laughs> just so you know. Why would you get a guest? Th Wait, no, no, that's Cap because he just said that it was very hard to get like chicks inside the the, the apartment because it smells like OB more anyway, so. Cap in, he's cap in. Look, look at my cap, look at my cap, he's capping. Oh, by the way, I did this. Like I did that design. It's on my website, mixfeeling.com. Always plugging, baby. I don't put them in the dishwasher because the dishwasher wastes way too much money on electric and water. So I just hand wash them in the sink. We do that. We we still do that. The house came with a dishwasher. We've never used it. We've never used it. I took the bulb out of the refrigerator. It saves me almost $40 a year in electric. We don't do that, but that I, I want to do that. God, am I poor? <laughs> I'm so poor. I, I didn't know. When I go shopping, I always leave the tags on the shirt because you never know if it's going to go out of style. Oh, we know. That's out of style. Every single thing in your closet is out of style right now. Maybe they'll come back in style because TikTok is reviving everything, but Jesus, it is. Greg thinks that he lives a pretty normal life, and most other people would probably think so too until they get to know him. He takes showers with his clothes on. Have I done that? I, I can't remember if I've done that before and that's the scary part. <laughs> when I take a shower, I keep a bucket in there and it catches all the excess water from me. At the end of the week- Okay, that's disgusting. No, 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 no. The worst part in every single house, and we've moved a lot, like we've moved uh, six times in a year, this year. The, you never know how your bathroom's gonna look like. And trust me, that is terrifying. When I'm ready to flush the toilet, I take that water and pour it directly into the toilet, and that's what causes the toilet to flush. 
every Haitian can relate to that. I swear to God, every single Haitian in Haiti right now or in the past 10 years can relate to that. Most places don't have like running water because the because landlords over there are just you know, the spawns of Satan. It's like going on free internet dating sites. By far the best part about online dating is you don't have to spend money on dinner and drinks and uh, wasting gas going places. Uh -huh. What year did this, did this come out? Wait, let me see. 2020? The fuck is he talking about? Like, online dating, I feel like online dating is more expensive than, than regular dating. I've never dated online before because I, I just, like, doing it IRL, but like, fuck. <laughs> every, t every time my friends talk about online dating, they talk about it like it's a waste of money. You never know when what the chick is gonna say. You could probably like, you can go to like a fancy place and buy a lot of food and the chick just, you know, changes her mind or she just wanted you for the food. So I feel like online dating costs more actually. This is meeting people. Just get online and uh, it's free. This girl's kind of hot. Uh... She likes fancy restaurants and traveling. <laughs> Next. Girls, now she likes normal things. <laughs> so what? All right, here's one. She likes shopping and wine tasting. <laughs> That's way too expensive. She likes shopping and wine tasting. This is <laughs> you think money grows on trees? Even though my money doesn't grow on trees, you can grow my tree if you want. <laughs> I just realized what I said. Easy going, homebody, good cook. Oh, she likes camping. Oh, she likes camping. I feel like he's only looking for girls who only have red flags so that he can date them because they're, they're the only one that will like agree with <laughs> his way of living even though, you know, he's saving money and living the dream. Oh, and she likes long walks. Long walks are free. Impeccable logic. Long walks are free. Remember that, kids. Hey, um, I saw your ad online, actually. Um, you look kind of cute. What? Your ad online? I've never- Okay, I'm sorry. I've never dated online, so I don't know what's happening. You post an ad for yourself? That's degrading. That's genius. <laughs> like, but what do you write in these ads? Like, looking to chat single hot moms in my area. Because uh, we both met on a free dating site. Do you want to go out tomorrow? A free dating site. Wait, there are paid dating sites? Yeah. I'm assuming and hoping that she is a cheapskate as well. I'm hoping that she is so fucking cheap. God damn. I'll email you the address of the place, okay? Okay. All right, talk to you later. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye. I want that cheap hoo-ha. I don't want that cheap coach. But I'm hoping that she ate earlier so she's not as hungry. Imagine that I had a call previously, like, yeah, have you eaten yet? No? Well, you should right now, because I'm only feeding you the 30%, the 70% left is on you, and also you're paying for gas. Hi, uh, you must be Brandy? Yes. I'm Greg. Greg? What do you think of the place? I like it. Pretty cool? Yeah. Oh my god, she has extension! She uses money! Run! Yeah, I love it. They let you, like, keep the utensils and everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. You can feel the poverty. You can smell it. Taste it. <laughs> when I first met Greg, he seemed like a nice guy, sweet. Typically, I wouldn't be asked to go on my first date at a barbecue place only because it's messed. <laughs> Typically, I wouldn't date poor bitches like him. I mean, he's so poor, I, I forgot his name. I forgot his name, I swear to God. And he's more casual. He's more casual and poor. Just say poor. We know you want to say poor. Just say poor. Where's the beef? Arby's has it. You know? Because they've got the- <laughs> Hi, y'all. Hi. Welcome to Pit to Play Barbecue. Mm, sweet tea. Sweet tea. Is sweet tea uh, free refills on that? Yeah. The sweet tea, you know, the poor package, the poor kid package, <laughs> the poor starter kid package. Yeah, okay, cool. Free Thank refills you. and tea. Oh my God, she's so like, oh my God, he's so poor. He's so freaking poor. Oh my god, he's poor. Water in a to-go cup, please. Water in a to-go cup. Yes. Alrighty. Because I don't have water in my house to take a shower, I don't care what you saw in the previous shop. He doesn't have water. He's going to take that water, he's going to take a bath, brush his teeth, drink it, then pee it out, then flush his bathroom, his toilet with it. He's gonna flush his toilet. Sorry, English is complicated. I speak French. My native language is French. My native language is French. My native language is French. Are you real hungry? Uh, 
I'm not starving or nothing. Oh, so like I you mean... wanna like yes. <laughs> He's like, yes! She's not starving, baby. Yes. Share a meal, maybe? Yeah, we can do that. Okay. We can share a meal. Oh, they want the spaghetti that's just one straw so that they can eat it like, and then do it in like, the, the thing with the dogs. I forgot the that Disney cartoon with the dogs. The, the Disney cartoon with the dogs. How is it called again? How's it called? The, the dog and the female dog, which is a... Uh... Sorry, YouTube. Did you see the kids menu? No. Don't do that. Don't do that my way. And it's only $4.95. And it's only $4.95. Is your pussy wet yet? Hey baby, you can take anything you want. I got you on this side. Just on this side. No, nope, don't look at the uh, just this side. Or you could get the uh, sweet and sour hot sauce for only two ninety five. You said it with so much confidence. Oh, you can get the sweet and sour hot sauce for two ninety five. <laughs> what did I do that for? I've learned that Greg doesn't like to spend lots of money. I've learned that Craig is a poor bro bitch. I'm poor. Listen, I'm poor, but Greg is poor. There's nothing wrong with it. Just, it's different. There's nothing wrong with it, except everything. I'm gonna take the pulled pork sandwich. Right. I'm just gonna take the poor, 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 poor broke. No, I'm sorry, broke bitch. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, mommy. What? <laughs> it's a nice portion. Uh, like big enough for two. Look at that <laughs> mug face. Bro. She's like ready to beat his ass. Really? Just depends Probably. how hungry Probably. you are. You're not real hungry, right? Nah. Okay, perfect. Also, can You're not really hungry, right? <laughs> no, she, that's my girl. She's not hungry. That's my baby. You, you. We ain't hungry right here. We ain't hungry. We never hungry. We never starve. It's about strength. It's about power. We we stay full. Also, can we get a rib? Okay. You like uh, a rack of ribs? No, just like one rib. Give me one rib. Just just one bone right here. It doesn't need to have meat on it. I just want the, the the rib. Just give me the one rib. Just the stick. Uh the, the rack is like kind of expensive. Maybe we just get one, just in case. Okay, so you'd like one rib. The lady's like, oh. <laughs> yes, please. Most guys, when they ask girls to go on dates, they really wanna, you know, spend money. And he doesn't want to spend money. Uh, impress or show off. But he's showing off how poor he is. Mm, really not care. Oh, he did the thing. Look at it, look at it, he did it. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't care. He doesn't want to spend money. He, he doesn't want to show off. And he's like, yes. I'm broke. I'm the broke king. The king of the. Wait. The king of the. Wait. I'm nothing. The king of the. Nope. Still nothing. Pulled pork you. sandwich with a side of mac and cheese. Oh, and and one rib. That's good. And here's your one rib. Oh, oh, oh you, she said it. She said it. Here's your one rib. And here's your one rib. Right. Thank you. Did you want to try some of those? Um, no, it's okay. It's. You sure? Yeah, it's. There's not a lot there. It's really good, though. It's really good, though. And cheap. Oh, oh my god. It, it, it looks so cheap. I'm saving so much money. <laughs> Yeah. Would you want some uh, macaroni? Oh, yeah. Actually, I love some macaroni. Actually, I love macaroni. I haven't eaten in three days. <laughs> macaroni? Oh, my God. I'm going to savor this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to store it in my cheeks like a squirrel. I'm developing the technology. <laughs> okay. Maybe a little bit of pork, too. Yeah. Well, we'll just do about half, then. Is that okay? Maybe a little bit of pork, too, and a little bit of your sandwich, and a little bit of your plate. Just give me the plate. Just, just give me the plate. Like, to save money on water, we only flush once a week. And I save, like, $30 a month easily. Okay. I haven't done that. I can relate to a lot of these because we've been in a lot of dire situations. Coming from Haiti, um, traveling in Africa, and um, you know, staying there for like five years, like shit has happened. But that was always a line that we would never cross. The one week flushing thing. Like if it was like dire, dire, we would collect like rainwater because um, we stayed in a lot of tropical areas. So it would rain often. So we never had like, oh, this week we're not gonna be able to flush. <laughs> Well, too bad, nah. We just, we got creative. Yeah, we got creative. Hmm. So you guys go to the bathroom the whole week and you don't flush. Huh, so that's the smell. That's pretty disgusting. <laughs> Imagine if we said that. We save on physical energy by going to the bathroom once a week and then we flush once a week. You just fool bitch. <laughs> if you come over, I'll let you flush. All right. Once. 
All right. For all the things you asked for. Oh, thank you. Let me know if anything else you need. Okay, thank you. Do you have water? I need to flush my bathroom for this week. <laughs> you want to hand me your plate? Hand me your plate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He said it the exact same way. See, we were late. We were late. Four people got to stick together, man. Greg is a very sweet guy. Funny. He's a little cheap, but nice guy overall. A little cheap? Put some respect on this boy's name. He's hella cheap. I want a girl like me for me. I want a girl who's cheap and broke and poor so we can be poor together as a family. Good time. Thank you. Even though he's a little cheap, I could look past that guy, so I would definitely go out with Greg again. Oh, okay. I did not see that. That's a... That's a nice twist. <laughs> That's a nice twist, but like, what? Like, she went the whole thing saying, yes, he's poor, he's cheap, um, he's cheap and poor and cheap. But I will go out with him again. <laughs> it proves to you that you can date anyone. <laughs> you can date anyone as long as you're very confident. And funny. She said funny, right? Yeah, she said funny. So as long as you're funny, you're good. And um, I know that some of you are in your house right now and she's not texting you back. That's because you're not poor enough. You need to be cheap as hell. And be funny. You're not funny, Mark. Or Christopher. Or Joseph. Or Mark. Or Joseph. Or Christopher. Yeah, that's all the poor people names. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Uh, do we have a sponsor? I don't have a sponsor yet. This is my first long form video, so I'm just gonna sponsor myself. This video is sponsored by Mix Feelings, which is my brand. I did this. I designed this. And I printed it in, and it came out like looking pretty nice. Like, I, I really like this design. My sister is always trying to steal it from me. Yeah, I just started and it's really cool and I like the fact that, you know, some people like my designs. Not a lot of people know it. Um, you can follow us on Instagram if you want. We don't have anything interesting over there, but like, you can go on the shop. We sell products that are made with sustainably sourced materials and recycled packaging. Not all of them, but most of them are. Because it's very hard to, you know, find a manufacturer that does those kind of products. We work with EcoCard and Handprint so that every time that you buy, we plant a tree and uh, we take plastic out of the ocean um, every, every single time you buy. You can check us out. You can check us on Handprint. We're verified over there. You can check on the website. It gives you an update on how many plastic bottles we've um, taken out of the ocean and how many trees, trees we've planted. And also on the website, you can donate to a good cause. Most of the cause that I put in, uh, in the forefront of co or causes that help with homelessness and you know helping out Haiti because things are die over there. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. My name is None of Your Business. Like and subscribe and subscribe. Subscribe. I see you watching and not subscribing. Like the video and subscribe. Peace.